the three most common mistakes all beginner editors actually make and how can you fix them? Well, from the source F Stoffels, um, <sighs> from the source F Stoffels, they have number one is I have a sloppy workflow. Well, my workflow is very neat, especially if it's on Avid back behind me. Avid, I just try and just crank my workflow. Here's the thing I try and do as an editor. When I edit, I try and just from the beginning to the end. I try and label my edits. So if I do like a commercial like I have on that computer right here, on my MacBook, uh, when I try and I label the footage with colors. So say I have footage on there as video. So I label that pink or mango, or blue, or green, you know, different colors. Or if I have, like, um, a background, I try and label that color as that. So, to keep my workflow organized and be able to edit. So, number two is cutting too early. I try not to cut too early. Um, especially my drag and drop rule is... I don't drag the footage right onto the timeline. I try and drag it onto the monitor. So I know I can do a playback of the footage I have and see what I can put together into the timeline. So that's how I do my edits. Um, it's more easier that way, especially if you're using Avid or if you're using, I don't think iMovie has that monitor. They do, but I don't, I didn't really use it when I, when I use iMovie. Back in my day, we didn't have that in, the only iMovies. <laughs> um, it just dives deep into the edit. Um, just saying. Number three, my last one is using hard cuts. Using the hard cuts um, as J cuts. I don't use this at all. I don't recommend using hard cuts. When you edit, you should do... My rule of editing on this number three should be from the beginning of the story that you're trying to edit from and then to the middle and then to the ending. The ending is like an outro or um, a bumper or whatever and then the beginning should be like an intro and a, or a bumper or whatever. Um, but if it's a film, I don't use recommend using this J cut and hard cuts and all this jargon because I just don't recommend it. I want you to set your timeline up as how you should set your timeline up and how you should edit. Not have someone tell you saying, you make a mistake, don't do that, <laughs> you know, don't do that. So I just don't recommend it doing the hard cut rule. I recommend doing the beginning, middle, ending rule because the timeline is the timeline as set from zero, zero, zero to whatever your footage ends as if it's a 60 second commercial, it'll end 60 seconds. So it should go from beginning, middle, end and you should work from in those sectors. That's what I do, and I have over seven clients. I'm just saying, you know, I am just saying. Um, I recommend you checking that out. So that is pretty much it. And make sure you hit that subscribe button up there. And that is um, the three most common mistakes all beginners make and how you should be able to fix them. That is my most common mistakes that I... Definitely recommend, and I'm giving you some advice on don't make that simple mistake. Uh, another mistake that I would not recommend is having someone tell you how to edit. <laughs> well, <laughs> I am telling you how to edit, but just try and edit of the way you want it to edit. Alright, if you decide to use my rule of the beginning, middle, end, that's great. 
Um, especially if you're a filmmaker, I recommend it. I just, I am not like Casey Neistat or any of editors out there. I try and just to make my edits more clear and more clear to the visual eye and try and create that story, that dramatic look. So that is pretty much it. Um, if you are a beginning editor out there, I hope all my advice helps you. <laughs> so make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you follow me all moments of Ad Sammy's life.